Boom! How do I infinitely farm Tusker and Dragon Scale Expedition Rep? That's what I'm going to show you guys in today's video. So this farm is, as you might have guessed, able to be done as much as you want. However, it's not as fast as some of the other limited uh, rep farming methods like world quests, dailies, whatever you do. So to get started, you're going to need the Tom Tom add-on. I've talked about this add-on before in other videos. Really useful. Basically, if you're not familiar, what this add-on is going to allow you to do is set custom waypoints and input coordinates. Uh, trust me, there's going to be a lot of coordinates. <laughs> so all of the chest location coordinates are going to be in the description of the video, by the way. Alright guys, so with all that stuff out of the way, how do you actually do this farm? It's simple. So there's three different types of chests you gotta worry about. Decay covered chests, ice moss storage caches, and tusker chests. Uh, all three of these chests are spread across the Azure Span Zone, which obviously I'm in right now. And they all contain two different items. Uh, one is called the Sacred Tusker Totem, which is obviously the Tuskar rep item. And they also contain the Dragon Isles artifacts. Uh, which are obviously the Dragon Scale Expedition reputation item. Uh, each of these items are redeemable for 15 reputation per at either Elder Poa in Ascara, which I will show you right now. It's right down in this cave. Right here, you can hand them in. And then at Catalifer? Catal? I don't know. Jake's. Cataliger Jake's, alright? At Dragon Scale Base Camp, respectively. Uh, the chests also contain some supplies and more miscellaneous items occasionally. Um, something to note is that these chests are on respawn timers and therefore they're not always going to be there when you're looking for them. However, with many, with as many chests as there is, you can still ground these out without downtime. Alright guys, so here you can see me using Spectral Sight on my Demon Hunter to locate this chest right here through the wall. Okay, so this is a decay covered chest, uh, one of the chests that I mentioned earlier. If you're not a Demon Hunter, uh, then you can either uh, use your eyeballs, might be helpful, you could just look around for it, or I believe that there's a device called the Anomaly Detection Mark. Uh, that's something that you could look into also. But yeah, generally they shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, okay, so I just cracked the chest open and you can see this right here. Uh, so, like I talked about earlier, uh, you get all sorts of miscellaneous items in here. So I got a potion, I got a couple potions actually, since, you know, obviously uh, I am an alchemist. Uh, and then also we got the main rep items that we're looking for right here, so we got the Dragon Isles Artifact, 15 rep, and then the Sacred Tusker Totem that we're looking for, another 15 rep, uh, as well as a little bit of supplies and a toy right here. Um, the last chest that I opened that I didn't manage to record uh, actually had a Primal Chaos and uh, Jewel Crafting Knowledge inside of it too. So there's actually some pretty good rewards that you can get from these chests. Uh, obviously the main thing is the rep, but you can actually get some pretty good uh, bonuses too. So definitely a lot of good reasons to do this farm. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, so at this point I'm going to throw up the world map with all the chest locations marked on it for you to reference as needed while you go around collecting these. Uh, shout out to Otter on Reddit for this map. And thank you for watching if you made it this far. And please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Uh, I make all sorts of content like this and I'm going to continue to make content like this. So. If you like this video, chances are you're going to like something that I post in the future or something that I've already posted. So yeah, thank you guys. Until next time.